Hello, this is Emma of Emma Live Yoga and welcome to this Yoga Quickie Vinyasa for Vitality. So we'll start from a seated position and centering and we'll gradually build up into Vinyasa flow, really focusing on getting energy moving through the body, working into those mama points, those energy points, breathing deeply and opening Anahata Chakra, opening the heart space, setting ourselves up for the day. So enjoy your flow and thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. So come into Sukhasana or easy, comfortable seated position to set your intention here for this uh, vinyasa for vitality and energy. Beginning to cultivate the Ujjayi breath and now coming through to all fours position. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale, carry the heart forward. Exhale, draw the abdomen in. Inhaling to come forward, so working into Majariyasana to mobilize the spine. Draw the shoulders back as the heart comes forward. And exhaling to draw the abdomen in. From here, tuck the toes under. Inhale, exhale, lifting into Ardha Mukha Svanasana, downward dog position. And just beginning to walk the dog. Have the fingers spread as you lift the sitting bones and hips up and back, then lengthening, static dog, encourage the heels towards the floor, inhale, come through to plank, exhale, all the way down, elbows in, inhale as you lift to a baby cobra, exhale, can use the knees or lift straight up through plank into downward dog position, look forward, inhale, coming through, stepping or jumping, exhale to fold, inhale, bend the knees, Circle the arms as you come into Utkatasana. Stay nice and low in your chair pose. Inhale into lift the arms. Exhale to circle back. And then inhale as we come all the way up. Exhale Anjali Tadasana. Finding the breath here. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale to fold. Plant the hands. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, stepping or jumping back. Coming back to that plank position, draw the abdomen into the spine. As we warm up those core muscles, draw the kneecaps in, push out through the heels. Firm the muscles of the legs and then bringing the knees down. Sitting back on the heels if that's suitable or releasing the toes. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale to a twist. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to a twist. So taking the head. To look over the shoulder as you alternate the arms backwards and forwards from this high kneeling position. And then bring in the right hand to the sacrum. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Option one, journey towards Ustrasana. Variation, exhale. Option two is to reach for the right heel and carry the left arm up. You can either look forwards or take the head back if it's suitable. Inhale, windmill the arms forward. Exhale, back to Anjali. We're back to the Pavrita twist from high kneeling, exhaling from side to side, inhaling to center. This time left hand comes to the sacrum, option one, lift of the right arm. Keep lifting the chest forward, exhale, option two, carry the pelvis forward as you take the right arm back, left hand to heel, open in the heart space, windmill the arms forward. And sinking back to all fours, tuck the toes under and back into downward dog position, Leg, right leg up, exhale, step it through, windmill the arms as we come to Virabhadrasana B, warrior two position. Coming to humble warrior, so clasp the hands behind the back or take hold of the wrists, inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold, you might come halfway down, a bit lower or you may take the arms right over the head. Stay firm through that back heel. And you're bending just in front of the right knee, inhale to come up, exhale, take the clasped hands to rest on the right hip and thigh, turn your head to look to the left side as you square your body towards the front, another warrior variation, inhale to rise up into vinyasa, step back, knees down if you wish, inhale to lift, back bend of choice, exhale, pushing back into dog, inhale, left leg up, Exhale, step it through, back heel down, Virabhadrasana B. 
from here again, clasp the wrists or clasp the hands, inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold to wherever is doable for you. Keep the breath moving, weight in the back heel and the ball of the front foot. Inhale to rise up, exhale, shift the hands to the left hip, left thigh as you turn to look over the right shoulder. Keep that left knee nice and deeply bent if that's suitable for your knee. Inhale, coming back to centre, exhale down into your vinyasa. Lifting, the sh taking the shoulders away from the ears as you lift up to upward dog, exhale to dog. Inhale, float the right leg up, exhale, step it through. Back to Virabhadrasana B, inhale, lift, straighten the leg, exhale, back to Virabhadrasana B, continuing like this. Pranic flow, inhaling to lift, exhaling to bend. Creating some energy through the body. Then straighten the front leg, exhale to fold, take the arms straight forward, or you may even take them to the floor or a block. Exhale, either look towards the big toe as you're dristy, or if the abdomen is on the thigh, you can lower the head to the leg, bend that front knee as we come to crescent moon. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale to reach forward. Exhale to squeeze back. Fine to bring the knee down as an alternative. Inhale to stretch up. Exhale into vinyasa. Lifting into upward dog. Exhaling to downward dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Virabhadrasana B to the left side. Inhale to lift. Exhale to bend, so stay with this flow, using the breath. As you lift the next time, you straighten that front leg, square the hips, exhale, fold forward, maybe to halfway, or maybe all the way down. Let go of the head as you hinge the elbows wide. You need to be a little bit higher up as I did, that's fine. Just see how your hamstrings feel. Then bending on the exhale into crescent moon, cactus arms. Inhale to stretch forward. Exhale to squeeze those shoulder blades back. Keep the breath moving as you push out through the back heel. Inhale to stretch up. Exhale, take in your vinyasa. Inhale to lift. Exhale to dog evening out the breath here and look forwards inhale stepping or jumping through to seated exhale take the hands back coming to a variation of east facing planks so tabletop position deepen the breath if you need to come in and out of this that's fine Parasvokanasana. another option is to lift the right leg stronger option open the hip and then lower the left hip to the floor you need to reposition the hands, that's fine. You can lift the chest forward as we work into this hip opener. Fingers are facing back. If that's too intense, take the hands further back. Flex the toes of the right foot. Inhale, reach back to release. Exhale, lifting once again into your reverse plank. Keep squeezing the glutes, lift the hips. Heart space, lifting with the breath. Coming down. On the exhale, you might lift the left leg, open the hip to come down, or do that as you sit. Reverse the position of the hands. You might either walk the body back or walk the body forward. Find any intensity you need into the hip. Deepening the breath, draw the shoulders away from the ears. And then slide back from this position lowering the body to the floor using a little bit of core strength inhale reach the fingers back exhale take the knees wide let go of the shoulders return to your intention here as you bring the hands to anahata chakra and close in the knees come back to hip distance apart as we lift into a bridge posture you might clasp the hands underneath the back, roll the shoulders under. That's too much, keep the hands to the floor. Exhale to roll down. Draw the knees together, a little rest here. You might lift to Urdhva Dhanurasana. If you do, make sure the elbows and wrists are lined up, come to the top of the head before you lift up. 
you might do a lift of the heels that's an extension if this is too much you simply repeat your bridge stay happy stay with the breath if you're in the wheel remember to bring your chin back first of all lower all the way back down and then we hug the knees into apanasana have a little rock from side to side and then cross the right leg over the left drop the hips to the left side as you turn the head to the right side and coming into this supine twist inhale as you come back to center exhale change the cross of the legs knees to the right head to the left inhale chest rising exhale back and shoulders releasing coming back to center on the inhale exhale draw the knees in as you lift head and shoulders towards the knees to release the mid back and then coming into Shavasana take a big inhale and a big exhale to let go of the body entirely as you rest here I'll reach you from a book by Donna Fahi called bringing yoga to life this chapter is called a larger life in yoga there is a tacit understanding that while we may have a body personality and a name this little self that we have come to believe is the entirety of our being is only a small part of something larger. We expand to become what we already are, the force behind the wind, the movement of the tides. So now moving the head from side to side, bringing some movements to the fingers and toes as you deepen the breath, stretch back on the inhale, Exhale, let go, bring the knees to the chest and then rolling over to the moon side of the body, the left side, for a few moments. Then coming through to seated and returning to our intention here as we give thanks for our health and our practice. Namaste. So thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you feel more energetic, a little bit more vitality, ready to enjoy the rest of your day.